Hey YouTubers, Dr. Gang Green here. I'm here in my lab with werewolf aficionado and expert Jason McKinney. How you doing, Jason? I'm doing okay, Larry. How are you? You made it out to Shackle Island okay? Uh, yeah, the ferryman was a little tricky. I didn't have any coins on him, so I had to give him one of my kids. But yeah, it was it was pretty good. He'll take an arm and a limb every time. <laughs> so let's talk about your book, Dog World. Tell me about Dog World. It is set in modern day just the entire world it's one werewolf's vendetta against the human race come to fruition over the centuries he's built up wealth positions power and an army to overtake the world and this is an army of lycanthropes oh yes an entire army made up of uh, human familiars but mostly werewolves you say his vendetta against the human race he's mad about something in particular he's just one of those people who thinks that people is wronged them in some way some form or fashion and they're tasty oh yeah to yeah to him they're very delicious yeah so now is this your first book you've written uh actually yes it is yes it is um it's it's a work in progress as far as a trilogy goes i've got two more in line uh the second one's near completion right now and it's the continuation of that because it uh the first book dog world does not have a happy ending whatsoever Nice, nice. I like it. So this book is very serious in tone. Unlike your next book here, Memoirs of the Walking Dead, for all you zombie fans out there, tell us about Memoirs. It is the story from one zombie's point of view. He was just an ordinary person. It's a straight-up comedy. He got sick, uh, and then it just came on that as time goes on, he finds his place in the world as a member of the Walking Dead. It's a comedy. It's totally unlike Dog World. I wrote that after Dog World because the settings for Dog World itself was so dark. I needed something funny to get out of that black yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, very cool. So, did you was the process different writing this book as opposed to the first book? Did, did oh you yes. approach it differently? Yes, it was. I had to really put myself into a comedic place to actually write that, and it's it's got a lot of slapstick, um, a lot of dark comedy, a lot of social commentary. Uh, it has everything a zombie person would like. The one thing they may not like is my zombies. They talk, they walk, they can operate Abrams tanks, and they can fight back. Interesting. Well, I like, one thing I do like is a, is a fresh take on zombies because they have been done, done, and overdone so much that you got to approach it a little differently, I think. Yes. You know? Oh, yes. I, I got so tired of seeing the human aspect. We all know how it's going to work out. There's going to be a small group of survivors, and there's going to be the different personality clashes. Well, how about a story from the zombies' point of view for a there change? How, how they're going to deal with the humans trying to kill them? I was just saying the other day, my one of my favorite scenes in Return of the Living Dead is the scene where they have the corpse strapped down, and they're talking to the zombie about her point of view, why she eats brains. Genius. I mean, it's, 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 it's chilling, you know, to, because it stops the pain. That's great stuff. So hearing something from the zombie's point of view is pretty interesting. So now they can find both these books on Amazon? Amazon. Yes, sir. Okay. Any any uh, places they can come to find out more about you? or I have a blog, wordpress.com. Well, it's Jason McKinney at wordpress.com. Okay. Um, I'm on Twitter under Jason McKinney. And I have also a website, Werewolf, Zombies, and Jason Oh My. Nice. Well, I will put the links to all that in the sidebar here. So until next time, it's Dr. Gang Green with Jason McKinney saying, stay mad.